Pat Scrivener, Scrivener Art and Design. Thanks for joining me today. I'd like to share with you my new painting wall. So in the past I had a wall easel that was on the wall and I've also used multiple easels in my studio when I'm painting. I got kind of frustrated though with not being able to work on multiples at a time and having so many easels out and wanting more space around me. So I thought I'm going to try this idea of a painting wall with a lot of different uh, spaces and ways that you could put up multiple um, canvases. So I want to explain to you uh, how we went about it and I'm sure that other people have done similar or different things but this is what I worked out and the first thought I had I was going to just use some slats with uh, screws in them but ended up changing my mind on that just thinking that I wouldn't have maybe the flexibility I wanted so what I've done with the help of my husband is to use two sheets of plywood, four by eight plywood, half inch thick, and to use screws partially put into them. So how we did it was the first thing we did was level everything up and make sure that it was square and screwed those onto the drywall. Then I measured where I wanted the actual screws to be and of course this could be changed or there can be more added so I kind of used my eye level as a guide for where I wanted the screws. So the bottom row is about my eye level and when I put canvases on it, uh, I can put them higher depending on the, the uh, size of the canvas. So there's also another row um, further up there that you can't see in the video. So we put the uh, screws, um, well, first of all, let me backtrack. I measured up where I wanted all of these and and put marks on the wall. We then put a pilot hole into the where the screws were going. After that, the wall was painted. So I didn't have to mark up on the wall or, or worry about um, making mistakes or whatever. The holes were already pre-drilled. The wall was painted and then the screws were put in. So it was a relatively easy project, not too expensive, although a sheet of plywood has got up there in price now, but this gives me lots of flexibility with being able to put more screws in if I wish, or closer together. So these are 12 inches apart, and then I have a space between here, six inches, six inches, and then another row at 12 inches. So I have this run along the whole sheet of plywood from one side to the other and I think that's going to give me um, a lot of space to work. I would have liked more but because of my workbenches for teaching in my studio this is all the wall space that I can allow for, for doing this. So let me show you. So this is a pretty big piece. And this feels kind of on the low side for uh, doing a lot of work on, on it or maybe down here so I can easily enough raise it up so it's a bit higher and I could even raise it up more if I just wanted to work on this bottom part. So great flexibility. If you're like me, you like turning your paintings as you go. So this is a great advantage to being able to turn it on my uh, easel. I was always doing that and uh, 
it was fine, but I think this just allows me a little bit more room in my studio and be able to walk back and forth and also put more up on this wall. I think it's a better use of my space. Uh, before I was using it as gallery space, so that shrunk a little, but oh well. This is a working studio, so I'm looking forward to doing multiples and I work a lot on paper, so I've got to devise a system for that and once I do, I'll show you what I come up with. So thanks for watching and if you did like and enjoy this information, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want notifications, hit that little bell and I'll see you next time working on the wall. Go in large, go big or go home. Okay, thanks so much for watching. See you soon.